Hey, this is Mr. A, and I want to um, go over what you should have gotten out of the moving man experience today that we did in lab. So you were supposed to go through and you're uh, supposed to define in your own words uh, position, velocity, acceleration, and vector. Well, here's position, velocity, and acceleration. And we'll have to find vector around here somewhere, right? So that we can describe those these terms in our own words uh, with respect to the moving man. And if we play around with position, we see that um, the, the guy, he moves back and forth on this, what looks like a ruler. And there's a zero position. And then there's a negative position and a positive position. And so we see that position is relative to some reference point, right? So if, if the moving man is at the zero position, position and he moves towards the house, that's what we are considering the positive direction. If we position him further away from the house, then that's what we're calling a negative position. Velocity, if you played around with this, then you gave the, the man some velocity and when you hit play he started moving at this speed as indicated by uh, this one is 3.14 meters per second so that is a positive speed so what is, what is the meaning of a negative speed so if we move the slider to the other direction then we are going to allow him to move in a in um, at about the same speed in the opposite direction so when we hit play again well there he goes there he goes so um, we see that as we change the sign of his speed whether it be positive or negative we see that his position goes from positive to negative so if we give a negative speed then the man will move to the negative direction where his position is negative. So we're beginning to see a relationship between at least velocity and position. And um, if, you, if you looked up on your phone a definition of velocity, you might um, find that it's another name for speed. Um, but velocity is more than just speed because speed tells you how fast the guy is going, but it doesn't really tell you what direction you're going. So like we have, we have uh, uh, speed limits on the road. They're not velocity limits, right? So uh, because the sign doesn't know whether you're coming or going, right? Let's look at acceleration for a moment here now if we were to dial up a little bit of acceleration and hit go you see that the man starts off slow and then uh oh I don't know what happened there he must have run into the brick wall or something let's start him back in the middle and let's give him a little bit of negative acceleration now do you see do you see that he speeds up so that's what acceleration is. It's speeding up. Now, acceleration has positive and negative values also. So if you give him um, positive uh, acceleration, he's going to go into the positive direction. You give him negative acceleration, he's going to go in the negative acceleration. You will see that we'll, when we get more into this, you'll see that these are all mathematically related. Now let's see if we can figure out what this vector stuff is. So we have a velocity vector and an acceleration vector. So if now when we dial up some acceleration, oh, there's an arrow that points up. So vector is represented by this arrow. And the greater the magnitude, the greater the magnitude of the velocity, the larger the arrow, the arrow seems to get. Now, what happens if we put in some negative velocity? Well, it looks like we are getting uh, the arrow going in the other direction. So this kind of jives with what I was saying about velocity is speed, but with a direction. So that's important to know. Now, acceleration is related to velocity. 
So if there is a vector for the velocity, then there must be a v vector for acceleration too. So when you turn that on, you get to see the, vel the acceleration vector. One of the things that was confusing some of the students is when they set it up to have the moving man have some negative velocity but positive acceleration. Let's see what happens. He starts one way and then he turns around and speeds up in the other direction. Let's try that again. Give him some negative velocity. Let's move him back into the middle here. So negative velocity means that he's going to go towards the tree but then he's got some positive acceleration and look that acceleration arrow is actually bigger than that red arrow. Now it takes time for that acceleration to, to, to slow him down but it does and it will eventually slow him down to a stop and turn him around to go the other direction. Uh oh, what happened? What happened here? Let's go back. I'm confused. We gave him a little bit of negative and we want to give stop. We gave him a little bit of of uh, negative velocity and now we want to give him some positive acceleration. So he should go off towards the tree and then turn around and go back to the house. Yes. So that's what's happened. Kind of like when you coast down a hill and you start to go up another hill, gravity is pulling you down. So the gravity is pulling you in the opposite, the direct direction of you coasting up the hill. All right. What else were we supposed to do? What is the meaning of negative position, velocity, and acceleration? I think we've addressed that. We talked about positive values and negative values. And why does the velocity change when there is acceleration? Well, if we have velocity in, in the positive direction and we have acceleration in the positive direction, that means he's going to start out with a certain velocity, but he is going to accelerate from that. Um, so acceleration is affecting velocity. Later we're going to see how those are mathematically, mathematically related. So this is what I would hope that you had gotten out of the lab today and, and uh, maybe you were able to play with uh, some of the charts here. Uh, so we like this, give him some positive velocity and some negative acceleration and see what happens to the man. These charts now begin, uh oh, I think I, I need to adjust that a little bit, huh? These charts um, are look similar to the graphs that we saw when we were out in the hallway using the motion detector. In fact, I think you, if you did a little bit of work, you could make the moving man move like you did in front of the motion detector. And you could, and that would result in a position versus time graph, a position versus time graph, um, very similar to the ones you were able to create with, with the motion detector. Um, well, that's about enough for this. I hope that this was a uh, an engaging first experience in describing motion.